Hey, what's going on y'all? And welcome back to the channel or welcome to the channel. So this week's video is gonna be about some of my failures because I tried to set a goal and I failed. You know, life has been lifing, but hey, at least I tried, but I had uh, five books that I was trying to read last month in July, <laughs> and I only end up reading one book, and I'm still reading another book out of those five books. And the second book that I attempted to read in July, I'm thinking about DNFing it because I don't know, it's just not what I thought it was. And that book is Slow Foot. I really, really, really wanted to enjoy this book, but I don't know. I think it's just a writing style that's not doing it for me. You know, I just thought it was gonna be like a really creepy horror novel with a lot of witchcraft. There's some witchcraft in it, but it's just, I don't know, maybe it's just the, the wording that they use, the, the different POVs, you know, it just, I don't know, it's just, it's just not doing it for me. It just, it's hard for me to explain, you know, there's a lot of uh, good reviews on this book and I can't argue with them about those good reviews, but hey, this book is just not for me and I hate to say it, I really wanted to like this. I just, I don't think I want to finish it, but yeah, so moving on from a uh, slew foot, you know. Uh, life has been life and you know I tried to read five books in one month I know some of y'all it's like easy y'all could do five books in two weeks but I am a literal slow reader and I had a lot of stuff going on in July you know uh, went on vacation you know got a new jab so that's always fun but yeah so this week's video I'm gonna talk about some of the books and comics that I own that really mean something to me because um, like I told you guys before, George R. R. Martin is one of my best authors that I love and I discovered him the first time by watching the TV show Game of Thrones. You know, I didn't even know anything about that. I think I was stationed in uh, Germany when I was in the army when Game of Thrones first came out and I didn't know anything about it till somebody you know told me to watch it and then I started watching the TV show and I was like man I heard it had books so I was like man I need to get into this lore and then once I did that it was all she wrote but before I talk about you know some of the books that I love and these books are also comic books that I love but I want to first talk about something that I found out recently about this author Michael Moorcock and he has a character named Elric and the crazy thing about this character Elric is he started the whole Targaryen and the Witcher um, both of those well, he didn't start it but both of those the Targaryens and the Witcher it was kind of named after this guy right here, Elric. Like the blonde hair, the pale white skin, he inspired both of those characters, or not characters, but both of the Targaryens and the Witcher. So he needs to get a shout out because both of those uh, properties are overshadowing this guy. And this was the creator right here, you know, once I found out, I couldn't believe it, but hey, maybe start checking out Elric. This is a uh, high fantasy. You know, a lot of you guys don't really like high fantasy, but hey, I like it. But yeah, I just want to point that out since we're talking about George R.R. R. Martin and Game of Thrones. One of my last videos, I told you about this book right here, The Hedge Knight, that's gonna be a TV show pretty soon, so. What's up, y'all? So currently, while editing this video, 
Max has just released a teaser of the Hedge Knight. So check this out, y'all. You and I? I'm Sir Duncan the Tall. Definitely check this out. And this next one is The World of Ice and Fire. This has a lot of illustrations in this book and it has a lot of, uh, I guess, things that is not covered on the shows, a lot of histories and lures. So this right here is the castle for the Greyjoys. You guys who watch the shows, you guys know about the Greyjoys. This is Pike. This is their castle. Just, just look at the artwork in this book. Show you guys a couple more things in this book. It's pretty cool. You know, since we're, uh, I don't know if you guys are watching um, House of the Dragon, last week's episode had a big scene in the Riverlands. And just show you right here. This is some lore of the Riverlands. Y'all, check this book out. Just the artwork alone. I know I'm repeating myself. You know, some of the things I said in the last video, but hey, I want you guys to check this out. Next book or books is the whole Ice and Fire series. Like all of these books were covered in the TV show Game of Thrones. Still waiting on one more book or actually two more books. Uh, Winds of Winter and A Dream of Spring. So once those two books come out, the whole series should be complete. So I don't know if we're gonna get those last two books because, you know, <laughs> George R. R. Martin is not getting any younger. But hey, check these out. And the last book from uh, George R. R. Martin is Fire and Blood. This one's pretty thick, but this is the blueprint of the House of Dragon, TV show that's on Max now. This is good. Some of you guys might not like it because it's kind of long and drawn out, but you know, I know a lot about the lore, so it intrigues me. I love it. So now that I uh, showed you all my George R. R. Mark books, I'm gonna go into some of these comic books that mean a lot to me. All right, so the first comic I'm gonna show you guys is Spawn. This is the very first Spawn, Spawn number one. It used to be worth a lot of money, but there's too many in print right now, so it's kind of oversaturated. This means a lot to me because I'm pretty much a blurred, you know, a black nerd, so I love my black comic book characters. And this guy was pretty popular back in the late 90s. Next, we got Power Man. It was also Luke Cage. And a while back, he had his own <clears throat> Netflix series that was pretty good. He was played by uh, Michael Coulter. And the show was good. I liked it. I hope he comes back, you know, in his new uh, MCU. I don't know if he is, but he should. Yep. The next one and the last one for black comic book characters that I love and that I own is Black Lightning. He also had a series for about, I think, three seasons. That was on the CW. Started out good. I think the last episode or the last season kind of faltered, just like the rest of the CW shows. But yeah. So, the next comics that I love and mean a lot to me is the boys so a lot of you guys don't know that this started out as a comic book and now is a show on Amazon and in my opinion I think the shows you know I think the shows <laughs> overtook the comics as far as you know better writing and whatnot so yeah this is a good one And the next book that I love is The Punisher. <clears throat> Man, I'm losing my voice. The Punisher. This book right here, 
Hey. Look at that tattoo right there. So, if I got a tattoo, you know I love this comic book character. So, this guy is awesome. Oh man, how can I forget? This got stuck in the wrong pile. I thought, I knew I had more black comic book characters, but. So I got two more to show y'all. Black Panther, need I say more? The King of Wakanda. When that movie came out, man, I was so excited and it did not disappoint. I know a lot of people thought it was overrated, but I loved it just seeing the, the actual world of Wakanda on the TV screen was awesome. And I got Static Shock. So Static Shock has electrical powers and he also had a TV series on the, the WB, which is WB Kids Network. And it was a cartoon, but the cartoon was pretty good. I think it lasted like maybe five seasons. And yeah, that's it for the black comic book characters. And I got two more to show you guys. So, Deadpool just speaks for itself. The guy that breaks the fourth wall all the time. You guys seen his movies? I hope you've seen his movies. He has three that's out now. The last movie is out on TV, right? Or out on uh, in the theaters right now with Deadpool and this guy right here, Wolverine. Man, if you have not seen the last Deadpool movie, you gotta see it. But these two books right here are awesome. So, with that being said, I'm gonna end this video. You know, it was just a little video that I wanted to get off my chest and <laughs> tell you about my failures, how life's been lifing, and being on vacation, which I enjoyed. If you didn't see my video where I went to Lisbon, Portugal, you guys need to check it out. It's pretty cool. It's a nice, nice, beautiful city. Uh, Lisbon is underrated, I'm telling you. Not a lot of people are talking about it. <clears throat> a lot of the foods they have there is delicious. Um, the scenery is beautiful. They got a castle that you can go to. Uh, they got beautiful beaches. Unfortunately, I didn't get to go to the beaches. I think I, <laughs> the night before, I went out, you know, clubbing and kind of, <laughs> kind of messed my, uh, yeah, messed my. Uh, uh, drive up I should say <laughs> but anyway I'm rambling on so I'm gonna end this video here if you guys watch this for this long I appreciate you watching and subscribe leave a like comment and I appreciate it peace <laughs>